Hello Greatness, you are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host, and now let's welcome Dr. Vincent Apong. Hello Greatness, how are you doing today? I feel like it's been a long time. Um, but I believe you are doing fabulous. So we are still going through some few books that is written by Joseph Saber Banner. Um, I have really grown to love his writings. Um, very profound. Very um, divine, right? Um, he has this book that I'm really slowly um, planning on um, reading that book. Um, it's, a, it's a big one, right? It's called The Impersonal Self. Um, I think it's the first book that I read by him that introduced me to his work. And so, um, but in these books that I'm reading, I'm trying to make it very portable, if you will, very short, right? Because I know um, in our generation, people's attention are very short, right? Um, easily get distracted. That's why I make these audios very short and um, simple so that it doesn't um, take much time. You can listen to them even while working. Um, you have a few break, I mean, a few minutes break, you can simply listen to it and um, go on with what you are doing, right? Taking little doses at a time. So um, we started with um, Christ in you. And then we read the way out and we just finished the way beyond. Um, the next book I want to do is called Wealth. Um, but just to give a quick summary, the last part of the book the way beyond um i'll read the last part real quick and then um, go on to the introduction of um, wealth wealth i know we all like wealth money right and i love the way his books are pieced together right um the last part of this book the way beyond he talked about god and mammon right in other words god and money and then the next book i'm going to do is wealth right just to kind of piece all of them together so i'm reading just the last parag um the last um, paragraph um i was going to say the last part but the last paragraph of um, um the way beyond um god and mama he said, be not anxious for the morrow, for the morrow will have its own problems. Sufficient for each day are the problems thereof. He said, how much more plainly can it be declared to us that we are being lovingly watched over and cared for? that all our needs are known and will be supplied and that our only thought should be in knowing that everything will be provided for us even as god provides for the birds and the lilies i skip to this part he said but remember it can no longer be a half-hearted or a divided service. In other words, serving God cannot be like that. He said that will not be any longer permitted. The hopelessness of sex should have been proved to you from former efforts. You must give up all, all that you have and are and follow him. You must make him and the finding of his kingdom and the living of his life in your consciousness. It must be an every moment of the day trusting 
the thought of him must supersede every other thought. That is the kind of trusting he now seeks from you. And oh, the joy and the blessedness of those who have given themselves over wholly to him in such trusting. And that was the end of the way beyond. So today we want to read a quick introduction of wealth. Wealth. And I begin. He says, you to whom I have given an abundance of that which the world calls riches. Hearken unto this my special message to you. Yes, you. Who are you? that you should be thus blessed above your brothers. Who are you that you should be given such a privilege when millions of your fellows apparently have nothing? My goodness. Mm. Have you ever asked yourself that question? Have you ever satisfactorily answered it? Or perhaps you think you did it all? That you have no one to thank for these so-called blessings but yourself? Thank you this is so? Let us see. Did you ever wonder why you were born as you were? Hmm. Into the particular condition that surrounded your entrance into this life. Did you ever wonder why you had to contend with the particular conditions that surrounded and confronted you all along? Mm. All along your journey up through life? Did you ever wonder why you came equipped with the certain tendencies, qualities, and powers of mind and soul you had while your brothers and sisters and even your parents were so entirely different or came much less fortunately equipped? Have you arrived at any satisfactory conclusions? I bet no. No? Then listen. I am responsible for all this. I did it all. I chose those conditions for you to be born into. I created every condition you met in life and forced you through them. And through every experience of whatsoever nature, it was I who brought you to where you are today. You, of yourself, you did nothing. That personality you call yourself is merely an automation which I move to suit my very purpose. And that is the introduction. So, lesson number one of the book Wealth, we will talk about who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And uh, again, back to the impersonal self, uh, originally, it was written as anonymous because he writes in the third person singular, right? As, a, as God, literally. That's how he writes. He writes as God talking to humans, right? And I think that's what really caught my attention when I first encountered this book. And he is kind of doing the same thing with this book, um, Wealth. And so I know you are going to have an experience like never before. Um, so please like, subscribe, share, um, join the conversation. And I know without a shadow of doubt that something will break forth and you shall indeed become the very image of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be.
See you in the next episode.